Hey Junior Church, it's Sunday. Now, you might be wondering, what is she doing looking at the sky? But I am having a look at the sky because have you ever played that game where you look at the sky and you try and make pictures out of the clouds? What can you see as you look at this picture? Can you see any animals or can you make any shapes out of the clouds? The clouds are cool because they're changing all the time and I wanted to show you this because this is where today's story is set. You see today is the ascension which is when Jesus left the disciples after rising from the dead and he went back into heaven and they saw him go up on the clouds. So let's carry on the story from there. Well, I am back inside. Did you see any shapes or pictures in the clouds? Can you imagine what it must have been like for the disciples at the Ascension, seeing Jesus go back up into heaven through the clouds? That must have been pretty cool. Now, you might be thinking, I don't understand. This is a very long word, Ascension, and I don't really know what it's all, on, all about. So let's go back a few weeks, back in time to Easter. And on Good Friday, Jesus died on the cross and he was buried in a tomb. But three days later, when they went to look in the tomb, you remember that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus wasn't there anymore. In fact, Jesus had risen from the dead and the disciples were all super duper happy. Woo! And Jesus actually remained with them for about, four, well, for 40 days before he went back to heaven. And we call this going back to heaven, the ascension. Now, Jesus didn't leave them alone because he said that he was going to send them a special helper to help them. I wonder who that could have been. Oh, oh, this is a bit unprofessional. Um, somebody at the door. I just, I think it's a delivery driver. I just need to go and get it. I've been expecting some roller skates. So if you don't mind, just hang on, hang on, I'll be back. Well, this is not what I expected. I don't think this is my roller skates, but should we have a look inside and see what it is? Mm, a box. Ooh, this looks very nice. A nice little gift box. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, and there's a message on the top. Shall I read it to you? It says, to Julie, this present is to help you describe my helper the Holy Spirit. He is a super powerful part of me and God. We work together to help you here on earth. We're BFFs, three together in one. Lots of love from your friend, Jesus. Shall we open up the box and see what's inside? Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, well, this is the first thing here and there's a little note attached to it. Do you know what this is? It's a dove. It says, do you remember when I was baptised by John? The Holy Spirit looked like a dove. It was a sign to everyone from God that I was God's son and that we were going to work together here on earth. That's cool. Okay, I'll put the dove there. I think there's something else in the box as well. Let me have a look and see what there is. It's an emoji. <laughs> it's feelings, it says. Before I went to heaven, I told my friends that they would receive power so they could tell people about me in Jerusalem and all over the world. Very good. So the Holy Spirit could also be feelings. Okay, we'll put that next to the dove down here. Shall we see what's next? Oh, now it says on this note here, Please be careful. So I'll be careful getting this out of the box. Ooh. Wow, look at that. It's fire. And the note here says, after I left earth to go back to heaven, I sent the Holy Spirit as a helper to my friends. It appeared as fire on the top of their heads, but it didn't hurt them. We'll talk more about that next week, dot, dot, dot. 
So there you go. The Holy Spirit also appeared as fire in the Bible. We'll put that there very carefully. Now, it says on this note that there's something else in the box, but the box is empty. I don't think I can see anything in here. Oh, it's got really windy. <laughs> well, it says here, wind. <laughs> no, not that sort of wind. Wind. It says the Holy Spirit is super powerful and we sometimes call it the breath of God or Ruach. <laughs> Great word. You can't always see it, but you can feel its power just like the wind. We'll also talk more about this next week, dot, dot, dot. Wow. Well, thank you, Jesus. What a cool present. <laughs> At the ascension, Jesus said to his friends, you know, I need to go back to heaven, but I am not going to leave you because I'm going to send you this really, really special helper. And that helper is going to live within you and that's going to be part of me. And we're gonna do amazing things together. So we'll hear more about when the disciples and Jesus's friends receive that special gift next week when we talk about Pentecost. Now, Junior Church, I am super excited because, <laughs> that's my excited dance, <laughs> um, because we have been working on a little video for you. You may have noticed that we've not seen each other for a while, but I didn't want you to think that your Junior Church leaders and helpers had forgotten about you. In fact, I know that they have been thinking about you lots and also praying for you and your families. So we put together a little video, especially for you, from some of our junior church leaders and helpers. See who you recognise. And a, a massive, massive thanks to Janine for putting this together for us. So click on to the next video and see who you can spot. <laughs>